So first of all, let's wrap up Nitro 3.5. Um, they want us to ask the user for three integers. So first we need a scanner. I like calling mine my input scanner my input equals new scanner system dot in and system dot out dot print line enter the first integer and int I'm going to call it number one equals my input dot next int. And then we're going to do that again and again. Enter the second integer and let's call that number two and enter the third integer. And we'll call that number three. Okay, so now they want us to use a compound Boolean expression. If. So let's first of all determine if number one is the minimum. If number one is less than number two and number one is less than number three, then it must be the minimum. So system.out.println, the minimum is, then a space, and then number one. So if number one is less than number two, and it's also less than number three, then number one's got to be the smallest. Else if, if number two is less than number one, and number two is less than number three, if number two is less than both number one and number three, then that means the minimum is number two. And if both of those fail, then we know the only possibility left is that the minimum has to be number three. So let's try running this and see what happens. I'm going to enter 10, 11, 12 just for jollies. Sorry, 11, 12, 13. Minimum is 11. That looks good. 11, 12, 4. Minimum is 4. That's cool. 11, negative 1, 4. Minimum is negative 1. So I think that's working okay. Check their test cases. Oh, if there is a tie, we did not take a take care of a tie. So if number one is less than or equal to number two, and less than or equal to that, so let's take care of the tie situation here. Okay, looking good. So now we are on to 3.6. which is equivalent Boolean expressions. So they're saying in the video that the not of an and is the or of the nots, and the not of an or is the and of the nots. In statistics, this comes up in, in with the term complement instead of not. So in statistics, it's the complement of the and is the or of the complements, and the complement of the or is the and of the complements. Or in a little bit more um, statistical lingo, 
the complement of the intersection is the union of the complements, and the complement of the union is the intersection of the complements. I have two short videos on this, which I call De Morgan's Law Part 1 and De Morgan's Law Part 2. I will link those in the description, and I'll also add them to this playlist, just in case you want to see a little bit different take on De Morgan's Laws. Okay, so the first code that we have to write it in Nitro 3.6 is 3.6.5 about uh, an amusement park. So basically here, they've written all the code for us. All they want us to do is change the code into equivalent code um, according to De Morgan's Laws. So I'm going to copy this line and then comment it out. And so one of De Morgan's laws says the not of the and is the or of the nots. So if we take, if we change this to or, then we do the not of that with the not of that. So the not of the and becomes the or of the nots. And then they have another one here on swim that they want us to change. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to comment out this one. And now we're going to say that the not of the or is the and of the nots. The not of the or becomes the and of the knots. Get rid of one more parenthesis here. So that's all they wanted us to change. They just wanted us to change those two uh, uh, logical expressions, the and and the or, and write them, uh, rewrite them according to De Morgan's Law. So if we run our code here, enter your age, 47. And to your height, 60. You may ride the roller coasters. Can you swim? True. Do you have a life jacket? True. You may swim in the pool. I think we are okay here. All right, so next up is Nitro 3.6.6 about odd numbers. So on um, this one about odd numbers, here's how they're determining if both numbers are odd. If you do any number mod 2 and you get an answer of 0, that means you divide by 2 and get a remainder of 0, that would mean it's even. So if mod 2 is 0, it's even. And over here, if on the second number, mod 2 is 0, that would be even. So if the mod 2 of the number is not 0, then it's not even, which means it's odd. And if the mod 2 of the second number is not 0, then that means it's not even, and that means it's odd. So if both of those are true, this whole expression here, if that's not zero, and this whole expression, if that's not zero, then they are both odd. So let's do an equivalent operation that we're going to call both odd D Morgan. And instead of saying the and of the not, we're going to do we're going to do the not of the or. So let's put all of this in parentheses. Change that to equals. Change that to equals. And change this to or. And then not the whole thing. So let's see how this is going to be the equivalent operation. If the first number, mod 2, 
equals zero, then that's even. If the second number mod two is zero, then that's even. So if either one of those equals zero, then one of those numbers has to be even, and therefore they're not both odd. And so if we do the not of that, then that will tell us when they are both odd. So right down here, they already wrote this if statement for both odd and this if statement for both odd to Morgan and also comparing both odd to both odd to Morgan. So let's apply a couple numbers and see what happens. Two positive integers, let's say 11 and 13. Both numbers are odd. Both numbers are odd with the Morgan's laws. The Morgan was right again. Okay, let's do both of them even. See what happens. Both numbers are not odd. Both numbers are not odd with the Morgan's laws. De Morgan was right again. Let's do one odd and one even. And again, they're not both odd, and they're not both odd with De Morgan. So De Morgan was right again. So I think we've done that the way they wanted us to. Okay, on to the last one. Nitro 3.6.7, which is about odd and even. This time, they're finally going to grade us. Okay, so this odd even tester has over here an odd even class. And the odd even class has a couple static methods that we can call without creating an odd even object. So both odd takes two integers. And this is basically the statement we just got done writing in the previous uh, assignment. If, if this one has a remainder of zero when divided by two, then it's even. Or if this one has a remainder of zero when divided by two, then it's even. If either one of those even, then they're not both odd. If we take the not of that, then we will correctly get when they are both odd. So for example, if we have the number nine, that would not have a remainder of zero. And also if the other number was, let's say 11, that would not have a remainder of zero. So we would have a false statement or a false statement, which would evaluate to false. And then we take the not of all that and it would evaluate to true. Therefore, they're both odd. And then this is kind of similar. If they're both even, then they should both have a remainder of zero when dividing by two. So let's see what the tester does. Our user inputs two integers then it calls the both odd to see if they're both odd. And if they are both odd, then it prints out that fact. Then it calls, then it says else if. So if they're not both odd, let's see if they're both even. And if this returns true, the both even method from over here, if that returns true, then we will print that they're both even. If they're not both odd, and they're not both even, then that means one of them is odd and one of them is even, and we will print that fact out. Now, what they've said here in the assignment is it doesn't run as expected. So let's test, take out a, test out a couple of numbers. Two positive integers. Let's do 10 and 12. And it says one number is odd and one number is even. So there's something wrong over in this class with the method that's determining if they're both even. Because watch, if I do both odd, let's say 11 and 13, it'll recognize that both numbers are odd. And if I do 12 and 13, it correctly knows that one number is odd and one number is even. The problem is when we give it two evens, it does not correctly recognize that they're both even. So let's see what the issue is over here. To determine if they're both even, then when dividing by two, we should get a remainder of zero on both of them. I don't think we want these knots in here. 
I think we want to just say the first number mod 2 is 0. That would mean that one's even. And the second number mod 2 is 0. That would mean that one's even. If the first one's even and the second one's even, then we return true, meaning they're both even. I think that's all we had to change. So now if I give it two even numbers, both numbers are even. And then do the other two cases. If I give it an even and an odd, it does that correctly. What if I give it an even and an odd in the other order? That's still correct. And if I give it an odd and an odd, that's correct. So I think that's doing everything we want it to do correctly. And we are done with that little section. So I think we're done with Nitro 3.6. There's a free response here, but I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, here's the assignment, but it's not graded. So I will leave that part up to you. And then we'll be done with 3.6 and we're moving on to 3.7.